And hello everyone, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I made an executive decision that all Pazak playing and all pod racing is going to be in a separate video on its own with no commentary. Um, just because, well, it's a, a side thing, so I'll give it like, um, I won't put it into like the main episodes because it's time consuming, but I will put it in as little videos on the side for you guys. So I've done Gelrud. And I've done Niklos up in the upper cantina. Gelrud I thought I could play like 20 times to beat him, but it turns out he's just infinite. So that was like an hour long video of Pazak, but I'll still put it up because it's like, well it was Pazak. But Niklos was very easy to beat. So now we're just going to talk to Zax and... We're going to collect on the Bendak Starkiller. <laughs> Kiri <laughs> Oh damn, I didn't get paid for that. Well, that's annoying. Let's just not do that then. Let's reload. Because, no way, I'm not doing all that for just the miss of money. I thought like, there would be like a intimidation option of some sort. But like I managed to do with like Zil with like um the the hut ups in upper cantina, but not for this guy. Let's just collect on Bendak. And that's gonna be us. 300 rate, that is officially us now. We are done um, in terms of Taris. There's nothing more that we can do. We can't do the Vacuum Serum quest, unfortunately, because of my stupidity. I figured you'd be back. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need, so what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race, and mention that you're interested in working for the Exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taris. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taris, the better. And we've gained Candorus. Now, who do we want? We've got me and Candorus. Candorus is a soldier, so we don't want another soldier. We could go with Bastila, but honestly, I think I want somebody with skills. So I'm actually going to go with... I'm actually going to take Zalbar with us. Zalbar is a pretty safe bet. So me, Candorus, and Zalbar. Um, that is an awesome party. Summon me, Lord Melek. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taris. 
Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Man. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. An important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candorus, and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. And we have Candorus. He's a soldier, he's quite good strength, he's got okay dexterity. High wisdom, funnily enough. So let's start buffing him up. Now he's not really much of a skills person, so let's just put him into treat injury. He's got um, weapon specialization in heavy weapons. Um, I don't know why he's not got it in melee weapons. I might want to add that for melee weapons as well. That would be that would be pretty good for him, I think. He's actually not got any. Oh, he's got power attack. But he's mostly a. Um, he seems to be mostly a gun guy. 
Let's make him... Right, I think I know what I kind of want to do with him. Let's give him... Um, let's work on getting the weapon specialization with the blaster rifle. Um, right, feats we're going to give you. Yeah, we're definitely going to give you the weapon specialization here. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to give you the light battle armor. And we're going to give you... The adrenaline amplifier because you'll be fighting it. Right, so that's 2 and 11. It's upgradable. 4 to 13 damage, plus 9 to attack. 4 to 11 damage. Sadly, the sniper rifle is probably going to be no no in favour of the auto repeating blaster. And oh, we can't give you the memory package, and that's all we can give you really. 4 to 13. But I do, I, I do less damage, but more chance to hit. I'm going to stick with the repeating blaster for him. Yeah, and that's him sorted. I'm here. Now we were supposed we're supposed to stay in our guest room for this entire thing, but are we hell? No we're not. Zalabar, get up here. Oh, did I not bring somebody with security? Oh I should have brought mission, shouldn't I have? I should have brought mission, I knew it. Oh well. Hey! What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. Pudu, Tony Rama, Napraka, Donko, Tsercha, Chupapanki. Hey, baby, wait! I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night, so you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. You should have picked an easier target. By the time the guards show up, they're gonna have to take you out of here in pieces. Yeah, I'm sure that's what's gonna happen here. Yeah, that's exactly what happened there, totally. But that has triggered the guards. But the guards are actually okay to kill, they're fine. Nope, Zalbar. No, stop going there. Hey, we're not ready. Fine. Well, oh, even more. Where? Where? Oh, through here. And even more. This is going to give us lots of experience. Right, okay. Awesome. Now, Zalbar, do some... You can do computer use, right? Yeah, I guess you can, kind of. Right, let's look at the space lab. Oh, I could gas the room. It'll take up all my spikes. Let's wait on that. Don't gas that room. Or that room. Can't do anything with the space lab. Right. Oh, can we do anything with the hanger? Nope. Uh, let's gas the gas the barracks. That'll take care of about five audience. Awesome. And we'll open all security doors as well. No. Yeah. We could disable higher security if we had nine, but we don't quite have that many spikes. Yeah. I'm here. That was nice. Saved ourselves a lot of hassle there. So we're just gonna ransack the area now. Can you do demolitions? I don't remember if you can do demolitions, Zabar. You can't do demolitions. I really should have brought mission. Uh, 
A mess mission. I thought Zalbar, because he was a scout, he had lots of skills, but that was a stupid mistake on my part. Mission is definitely our skills person. Zalbar is good with computer use, though. I'll give him that. Right, but that's only that's only one area. That's our room. This is the bounty hunter's room. Did he drop anything? He had a nice shield, but he doesn't drop it. And yet that full locker is empty. What is the freaking point in that? Oh, come on. Always have somebody with security. Got a date pad, 100 credit, and two Pizak cards. I wish I had mission with me right now. I'm so annoyed at myself. Sorry guys, I should have brought mission. Mission would have easily done this, no problem. Oh come on, Sila. It's a footlocker. A really sturdy footlocker, mind you. I got a hair trigger. The hair trigger is, I suppose, a nice, a nice thing there. Dark side points, yes. Can I get more guards? Please give me more guards. I want the experience. All he had was a stem on him. That is dis disappointing. Right, what did the guy, what did this guy have in his room? Give me something good, I want good drops, come on game. Eh, yeah. something. Now if you go down here, we can access the slave quarters. Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I'm welcome to the slave So if you're a guy, you can get like a massage and you can... Respect. You can make them like and um, tell you stuff, but a female um Sila, like she can't do anything, which is a little bit uh, But she can't get anything from the slaves. Right, okay, so we've been right, okay, so now you wanna go come down this way, I think. Let's go and check out down here. Well where I want to go straight there's the map. Right, okay, I know where I'm going now. I want to kill more Rodians. More Rodians! Well, more Rodian. Remains? Remains. He gave me remains. 27 credits. Nice. Nothing in here. That's the hangar bay door. We can't do anything with that just yet. But let's just Dress down here. Is there anything over there? Just going. Nah, there's nothing. It's really weird having Candorus use guns. Usually, I have Candorus use um two weapons, two weapons because his strength is higher than his dexterity. I'm here. But I think I'm gonna have Candorus as a gun user in this one because I'm going to be the melee person. Oh yeah, we should probably. Oh, I don't actually have one, damn. No. I ran out of my energy shields, which was a big pain there because I took a lot of damage. If I had an energy shield, that wouldn't have happened. Where the hell have those guys went? 
Why are they, what, I don't know why they're all the way down there, but okay, if they want to be all the way down there, they can be all the way down there. That guy was, he had good, he better give me a nice drop. Oh, a computer pass card and an energy shield, thank god. I did have, oh no, that's Bridget's armband, that's what it is. Nothing in this room, what a waste of a room. This is just the, the throne room again, yep. Oh, I think this is the room we maybe gassed. Got an armor reinforcement, heavy blaster, and a stun baton. Don't really, I, have not, I don't think I've ever used stun batons in my entire time playing Star Wars Central Republic ever. Torture droid. Awesome. Now this guy, Hydroi, yeah, well we could probably release him, but we're going to maybe do that next time. So we'll find out who the hell Hydro is next episode.